In this example, we're going to look at how to take a while loop and use it as a counting loop. Now, typically you wouldn't do this. However, we're going to do two things with it. One, we're going to show you how we can use a conditional loop as a counting loop. And two, we're going to look at some shortcuts that Python gives you to make working with variables a little bit easier. So I'm going to create first a little counter. And this is just counter equals one. And while my counter is less than 10, I'm going to execute my loop. So I'm just going to print off my numbers real quick. Now, this is a while loop. There's no syntactical errors. However, we do have one logical error. We set our initial variable counter equal to one. And we say while counter is less than 10. One is less than 10, so we print our counter. Then, because we've reached the end of our while loop body, we're going to go up to our condition again. Counter is still equal to 1. 1 is still less than 10. We're going to keep repeating this. This is known as an infinite loop. So one of the things we need to be careful of, especially with a conditional loop, is making sure that our condition is updated. In this case, because we're used as a counter, we need to update the value of counter. And we might have seen something like this before. We're incrementing our counter. Counter equals counter plus one. So it takes whatever our current value is for counter and adds one to it. The problem is this winds up being kind of a lot of typing and that's something we want to avoid. So we're gonna simplify this. Python has a way that allows us to say plus equals and then a value. In this case, we're gonna take whatever was in counter add to it one. We could also use minus equals, times equals, or any of our mathematical operators just about in order to simplify this process and make it a little bit easier to work with. Now we're updating our counter. We're going to eventually get to 10 and it's going to exit out. I'm going to save this file so that I can run it. Call pyloops2.py and you'll see we start at 1 and we go through 9. Now you might say, how come we didn't get to 10? Well, if we look at our condition statement, you'll notice that it's looking for less than 10. So if we want to display 10, we need to either choose less than or equal to 10 or be less than 11. It's just a simple little mistake that sometimes we make when we're running a condition operator like this. So this is a really easy way to run a traditionally conditional loop, a while loop, as a counting loop. Now it's a lot easier to use a counter loop, and so we'll look at that in our next example.